Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be checking out the procedural natures pack from Pure Polygons. This is released for free on the Unreal Engine Marketplace and this is permanently free so that you can download this whenever you want. So the main feature of this pack is that most of these assets are procedurally generated. I will show you what I mean by that now. So if I go to the mesh, you can see that there are spline points on the mesh and if I move them, I can create new root like this. I can pull them like that or I can press alt and click like this. So we get this new root or now if I go to this tree and if I select this, you can see that there are a lot of settings here. So I can just pull this up a bit like this. So we will get a new tree if we do that. Now we can change the wind intensity or we can change the brand starting distance. If I change this to 20, it will look like this. So you have a new tree now. And now we can increase the number of branches to 500 or 10 or whatever you want and you get a completely new tree. Rocks here have smart materials applied to them. So if I scale them, the textures won't really distort at all. So it will look really cool. So with this, you can have infinite amount of rocks and you can also rotate them however you want like this. So here you can see that there are moss on the rope, but if you go to the vertex paint option, you can actually paint moss on the surface of the rope like this. So th this is very useful. You can also select this rope and go to vertex paint and paint moss on it also like this then you can scale this rocks and it will still look good like this now there is a smart river tool you can actually adjust the river flow using these points like this you can also control the individual scales of these points like this so as you can see here, depending on the slope of the flow, the speed of the river will change and it will add some foam and this cool effect so it looks like a waterfall. So this is nice. So this is going to be really useful for anyone trying to create a nature scene. So we will now go to the asset overview map. So here you can see that there are some smart vines here. So if I just move them around we will get a longer spline like this so with this we can adjust this however we want and we can also increase the number of branches like this now we have a totally new wine also we can change the wind intensity there are a lot of settings that you can change to get a custom look now there are some ropes that you can scale however you want and they will look good and these are all small foliage meshes there are some grass plants pebbles etc there are a lot of them and this is our river material so it's very complicated actually it's a very complicated material and it kind of looks great so here as you can see when there's a slope on the floor it will look like a waterfall you can actually control all these points to get different looks and you can also make your custom river with this and now there are all the tree measures you can control the spline points like this to get different looking trees and after you have finished making the tree you can just select this actor and go to files then go to export selected and you can export this as an FPX. Then you can reimport this as a static mesh. Uh, one thing to note here is that if you are going to reimport it, tick combine all meshes. 
so that everything comes as a single mesh and then you have a static mesh of the tree you have created which is great for performance and now there are some terrain materials so if I open one of them up you can see that there are a lot of controls for it tessellation on, tessellation off and tessellation density etc by enabling tessellation and using a height map you can get these rocks and pebbles on the surface of the terrain like this so it will look a bit more better and if you want to reduce the performance impact of this material then you can just disable the tessellation so overall this is a great asset and you can use this to create lot of nature scenes so many thanks to poor polygons and unreal engine for providing this for free to all of us so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching